Hey everyone, how it's going? Welcome to the Demo Creator channel. My name's Jens and I'm going to be your host today. But before we dive into the main video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as to activate the bell button down below. This way you can learn about more features of Demo Creator and you can also stay informed about future updates. Now imagine the following situation. So you recorded a 20 minute video using Wondershare's Demo Creator and suddenly while editing you notice, hell, my file has been corrupted. I can access the audio, maybe my microphone has been unplugged, I don't know. Now that's a real bummer, but fear not, Demo Creator has a few tricks up its sleeve. So on the one hand you can go ahead and delete the corrupted audio. Once that's done, you can go ahead and for example put new audio over your video file or if you want to go one step further, you can in Demo Creator in itself replace the audio with a newly created voiceover that you can record using the editor overlay. Now let us dive right in, shall we? Now we are going to go through the very situation I was talking about before. You are creating a tutorial, 20 minute tutorial using the Demo Creator recording software and now you want to stop recording. As per usual, your file is going to be dragged into the editor for Demo Creator and now you can go ahead and drag your video file as well as the audio onto your timeline. Now this is what it's going to sound like currently. Now there are several ways to remove just a part of the audio or the complete audio in itself. If you want to remove all of the audio layer, you're just going to select the part or the audio layer in itself and you're going to click delete on your keyboard. Another way to do this is to make a right click on it and just click on delete and hence you are done. Now imagine there's only a small fraction of the voice being corrupted in some way, then you can zoom into your layer and just split up the part which is corrupted, click on the part that you want to delete and once again you are going to be done. Next situation is you have an already existing video file where you want to remove the background music for example. This is just one instance where you can use the so-called detach feature which is built into Demo Creator. For this, simply import a video file that you want to edit. Once you are done with that, drag it down to your timeline, as per usual. Now you are going to notice that we only really have one video layer at the moment, which already includes audio and video all together. To detach the audio file from the video file, you are going to right click onto the whole video file and then you are going to click on audio detach. And et voila, we are at a situation that we were in before and now you can go ahead and delete the audio for example. So in order for you to replace background music in general, you are just going to go through a very easy procedure. At first you are going to have your video file which doesn't have any sound for example in it, just like the situation we were in before. And now you are going to import the audio file you want to put over the video layer basically. So click on import, click the audio file you want to select. And once you are done selecting the audio file, just drag it onto the timeline yet again. And now to your heart's content you can go over here and just split up the audio file in general and then delete the rest and now you are going to have yourself a video file with a very new background music. And the very last thing you can do is create a voiceover for a video. Like I said before, maybe the audio file has been corrupted and now you want to create an audio once again speaking over the video you originally had. To create a voiceover, all you need to do is click on this little microphone button right here. Don't forget to select yourself a microphone that you want to speak in and then once you click on the play button, you can start creating a voiceover for the video you have right there on the timeline. Hello, I'm doing stamps, I'm working at a post office. And once you are done recording your voice over, you can just click on the stop button and then you shall be done. And this is basically it. As you might notice, once again Demo Creator is extremely minimalistic and easy to handle. Doesn't matter what you want to do, improve your audio quality, remove sounds, etc. You can do all of that and even more using Demo Creator. 
If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well as to activate the notification bell down below. This way you can stay informed about future updates for Demo Creator as well as learn more about the features that Demo Creator has in stock for you. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching and up until the next video, I wish you guys a great day. Ciao!